System design interviews are some of the most creative technical interviews. There is no single right or wrong answer to a system design problem. Every problem can have many solutions. But are you aware about one of the most common mistakes that beginners as well as experienced candidates make during their system design interview? It is highly probable that you might also be doing the same mistake. And you will be surprised to know that it is not at all any technical detail of system design. This mistake actually brings down both junior as well as experienced software developers. That mistake is failure to show your soft skills. Yes, you heard it right. It has nothing to do with any design pattern or what kind of database you are going to use. Soft skills are actually the most important skills that you will need once you start working in the project. The mistake we usually do can be of any form such as poor listening skills where we do not listen to understand so that the proper requirements are never communicated. It can be failure to respond to the feedback given by the interviewer. One of the most common one is start designing the system based on your own assumptions. Many times system design interviews will determine your level of seniority as well. Despite being very important in the system design interview, this particular topic of soft skill is largely untouched and never discussed. Now let's see what are the do's and don'ts you have to keep in mind while preparing and mainly during the system design interview. To be very clear, you should not trade off the preparation of technical concepts for the sake of soft skills. Now, the interviewers are not only looking for technical skills because to be very frank, there will be so many other candidates who will match you in the technical skills at end of the day. But that means your technical solutions alone won't work, but it is how you get to the solution that counts. The real world design process is not a binary solution. Interviewer need to see that you can express your ideas clearly while developing a solution. In the real life projects, system design is very collaborative process. You should be able to communicate with stakeholders, take their feedback and adapt to the new challenges and ever changing requirements due to the agile software development process. Now let's see few do's and don'ts for system design interview. Most of the time the interview length is from 45 to 60 minutes. So it becomes very important to plan out those 45 minutes. You should never hesitate to ask questions. In case of any clarification needed, just ask for it. In any system, you may not be able to use the components which are the best and always we have to make some trade-offs depending on the functional and business requirements. But you should be able to justify those trade-offs. For example, while choosing the database, if you have selected RDBMS instead of NoSQL database, then you must have a proper justification for that particular selection. Always be attentive to the feedback and try to adapt according to it because in real life scenarios, having that skill to adapt based on the feedback is the most valuable skill. These were few points that you can consider during the interview. Now let's see few things which definitely you should not do. First and the most important is do not dive into the details before designing the high level system. Second point is to assume the requirements that could lead to a very bad design and mostly complete rework as well. Another very important point is you should always be open for changes in the design because system design interviews are not close ended interviews. The question interviewer is asking does not have a fixed answer. It is a kind of discussion where they want you to drive it to reach a particular solution. So if you started designing one with one approach and later you may have to change it, then never get attached to that initial design and always be open for the change. Now with this, I hope it is clear what you have to do and do not in the interviews. Now let's move ahead and see what exactly an interviewer is looking for in a candidate in terms of soft skills. The first point is time management. You must complete your design to have ample time to discuss it. It is important to be strategic because you only have 45 to 60 minutes and the time will fly quickly. There is no such thing as a perfect design. Your goal should be to complete your design and have enough time to discuss. To help manage your time during the interview, try to divide the time based on the tasks. You should not take more than 20 to 25 minutes for your design process. Always keep 5 to 10 minutes for your clarification questions. And you should also try to cover the high level design before discussing in detail of your solution.
Second important point is effective communication. Communication happens throughout the entire interview. You will need to engage in a lot, whether in conversation with your interviewer or explaining your thought process. The conversation with your interviewer will largely be driven by questions. To understand your problem, you must ask questions to clarify any doubts if you have. Because your interviewer won't give you all the requirements upfront. Some interviewer might deliberately withhold the information to see how you get enough clarification to move to the next steps. Also, your interviewers might ask you questions about your decision choices. This is either because they didn't catch the thought process or there was a better design choice that you could have made. The key here is knowing that nobody expect a perfect design but they do expect that you address any design flaws and have an open mindset. Anyone who is designing must be a good listener. You should be able to respond quickly and adapt to new information you are giving as an actual agile project. You will always have to adapt based on the changing requirements. Another very important point which interviewers are looking for is how effectively you handle the trade-offs. Effectively handling trade-offs requires prioritization skills and attention to detail. A trade-off is a compromise between two desired and incompatible features. For example, you cannot have a banking application that is both secure as well as high on performance. You have to optimize around the most crucial feature for the problem at that point. Like in this case, security is more important, thus you will opt for more secure solution without compromising on security and in that there may be some hit on the performance which is acceptable as the priority of business is to be secure. Designing a system is always a game of trade-offs. When you change one thing, you know you may be compromising on something else. The key is showing good judgment here. Between different solutions, you have to prioritize the solution that best accommodates the core problem that you are currently trying to solve. So how you can demonstrate your understanding of trade-offs? The first point is you need to be ready with more than one solution. Then you need to tell the trade-offs of each solution as well. And once you have selected a particular solution out of that list, then you should be able to justify its trade-offs and that is based on various factors such as requirement, domain, etc. Be sure to justify your thinking to the interviewer. The worst thing you can do is to Keep your thinking to yourself only. Let's just say your interviewer asked you to design a video streaming platform just like YouTube. Suppose you can either optimize writing to the storage or reading to the storage. So you may need to decide between prioritizing the speed of uploading a video by optimizing storage for write operation or viewing for a video by optimizing storage for reading operation. As we all know that the number of uploads is very less in comparison to the number of views in any video streaming platform like YouTube. So after that you have decided to go for optimizing the storage for read operations to make it perform better for the viewing of a video. After that you have to explain why you have chosen it. The reason will be there are less number of people uploading the video than actually watching it. So in a way it is a read heavy application and thus have to be prioritized the reading operation over writing operation. So these were the points that uh, I could think of which can help you to showcase your soft skills during a system design interview which will help you to understand the system which they want you to design better and also impress the interviews. I hope this session is useful to you in case of any doubt or feedback please do comment. And also don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends who are preparing for the interview. 